Yo, what is good, killers? It is your boy B Man, the fucking killer. I'm back with another video for you guys. I'm back with another killer reacts on the channel. So, we finally reacting to the Spider Within, a Spider Verse story. You know what I'm saying? Official short film. You know what I'm saying? I got the homie Shogun in the corner. You know what I'm saying? Let him know how you doing. Uh, I am doing good. It is a pleasure of being, you know, on a, another video, my man. Female killer. You're, you already know what time it is. And look, it's not Dragon Ball. <laughs> Cause you know, we can't be repetitive. <laughs> Shut your goddamn ass up. <laughs> Take it back to the American. Okay, with you. Hey, sometimes we too repetitive. But it's okay, cause we gonna fix that shit today. <laughs> to this day. Hey. To this day, to this day, <laughs> we about to show everybody we're not repetitive. Right, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we need some help, bro. Oh uh, yeah, we gonna go on and hop into it, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and roll to 2K. Kill it, kill the gang. You know how we do, man. Original link uh, to my boy Shogun will be in the description down below as well. Also, if you haven't, make sure you check out our other uh, videos that we've done together. We got a few on our belt. Check those out. Greatly appreciate that. And so, without further ado, man, let's go and hop into it. There's only one thing we say it's do. What's up, killers, man? Uh, real quick. So, unfortunately, due to copyrighted reasonings from Sony, uh, you guys won't be able to see the reaction. But um, I will still have it up there with something covered, uh, so that you can still hear our reaction while we're watching it. But if you, in order for you to really watch it, uh, you will have to actually watch the actual video itself. And if you would like to, that link will be provided in the description down below or in the comments. But um. I still would like for you guys to still hear our reaction and as well as our feedback this uh despite um you guys not able to see it but just how we thought about the short film um it's about seven minutes like i said and um yeah because i can't show it to you guys and i've tried to do it a few times because this video was supposed to go out yesterday and i wasn't able to because it got blocked so hope you guys understand you guys still enjoy it thumbs up the video and everything i really appreciate that and yeah peace Sony presents these nuts. <laughs> you like tapes of CDs. <laughs> That's what we gotta ask. You like tapes of CDs. I like CDs. <laughs> <laughs> no, Diddy. You gotta tell him no. Like the party. <laughs> I can't wait for the third movie though. Yeah, I call it 2.5. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh shit. Damn! What do you think you listening to? That boy listen to that trap uh Travis Scott. <laughs> the motherfucking is like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Big booty hoes. <laughs> Big booty hoes. Look, they got the sunny head for look at him. <laughs> Oh, that's TV. That's why I said, what the fuck is that? You're really not gonna turn around and check right now. You gotta keep your head on the swivel. I know. Head on the swivel, yes. Oh, that was a good one. Where the hell you been at all night? Right, exactly. I've been in three scary movies we can watch. Three? Man, did you drive all the way to Jersey? Uh, you got jokes, man. That's good. I'll call Cal. Nah, I would, but I'm 
just tired. I'll catch you next time. Are you okay, sir? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Copy that. Yeah, that's a lot of pop. Right. <laughs> See, he got a cool dad. Cause my mama would advise slamming the door. The fuck you doing slamming doors in this goddamn house? The fuck, damn, yeah, mama, calm whenever down. Whenever, smoke, whenever smoky mom on Friday. Hell yeah, stop slamming my goddamn door. Yeah, slam on that, slam that bitch again. <laughs> I right, you know I'm gonna get here with a copy claim. Hell yeah. That's all right. As long as you don't. Number three mixtapes. Mixtapes. <laughs> Productions. Stuctions. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wait, who yanked that nigga? <laughs> what the fuck? about to have a panic attack for real holy shit that scared the fuck out of me what the fuck oh my oh my cataract oh fuck I had to grab my eyeball for a second that shit threw me off you know that shit. You know them. That was that. That's that sleep paralysis demon shits. I hate them shit. You ever had sleep paralysis? Never had it, but I, I wish, wish I did. Bruh, no, you do not want that shit, bro. That shit is fucking scary, bro. Sleep paralysis. Is a, no, you do not. That no, I can tell you from experience, bro. Having sleep paralysis is a motherfucker, bro. You can't move and you see shit. Like it's weird, bro. Like you can't move. I remember I had one like a long time ago, bro. I couldn't even move or nothing. I could like. I can move, but I couldn't move. Like, I can, like, you know what I'm saying? And then I just, I see eyes, like, above me and shit. He was just looking at me. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Bruh, I'm like. What if it was a female ghost? Shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah. <laughs> they finna jump Oh, my God. Snatch your soul, literally. Oh, nah. Holy shit, what the fuck? Is he mutating to a spider? Yep. Ah! Oh! He said I'm not stepping on another spider again, I promise. Yeah, he's got, he's sleeping. Oh, shit. Yo. What the fuck? Damn, I feel for my boy. I think you had a combo on him. I ain't scared. <laughs> <laughs> when you can't, when you can't, you know, you know that popcorn too. Yeah, he slammed that shit. <laughs> it's like when you catch somebody, what the fuck you doing, huh? <laughs> huh? Say again? You say I'm left out bad and booze. What'd you say? Where the lights off? <laughs> Where your clothes? 
<laughs> you gotta tell him no. <laughs> you change that TV real quick. What you been looking at? What you looking? <laughs> My dick don't get hard. <laughs> and we're watching them tapes. <laughs> <laughs> I should have forgot my keys. Right. <laughs> Eat that because I don't want right. to. I write by say, yeah, I don't want to fuck my shit. <laughs> Yo, this is dope. Damn, that was seven minutes already. What the fuck? Yo. I'm going to put this on the loop, though. Damn. I can't wait for the new movie, though. Oh, man. Damn, man, that was so fucking short, though. I like this, though. This was a little, this was a cool little short film, though. Yeah. I see what I see. I see that. I see what they were going on, though. It's, I feel, yeah. This, this is some. It's something cool to see. Just to see, like, well, we already kind of like see his like kind of everyday life. You know what I'm saying? Even in the other movie, the other movies and shit. But like not really like they, they I'm not saying they don't go deep into like his like demons or like stuff that like really weighs on him like that. They have like before but like not like deep enough. We just like kinda get like surface level, kinda like just regular shit, but it seemed to me they were just kinda like kinda showing like the way he feels from all these responsibilities, especially him being Spider Man and um how he's trying to like kind of balance his life between trying to be a superhero and kind of just trying to be a kid that's just trying to just have a normal life and stuff like that and i feel him on that you know it's like the thing that people what resonates with spider-man what, what, what resonates with a lot of people with spider-man is because you know he was a normal guy that was just trying to just you know do his thing and then he just so happened to come across you know these powers you know you know being bit by a spider you know he got these powers and then he's trying to like be a superhero while trying to do hold a job down hold a relationship down with just with his girlfriend his family stuff like that and it's like we all have been there before and even probably still deal with it to this day like just we're trying to put so much on our plate and still trying to be productive in the world and society because there's so much that goes on and things that we can't even control ourselves like we can only do so much and even with him with these abilities he still he might still feel like he still is limited which it's understandable and even though he wants to try to do everything he can to save save everybody you know trying to just make life seem perfect it's not gonna always be perfect you're gonna always have issues you know whether it's in your superhero life or your regular life whatever job life whatever and i like the part when you know when he had to do you know a little, uh, little panic attack which by the way that just made me think so when he walked in that we just saw I feel like that was that thing that that was a little indicator right then and there what was to come and shit because right after that he pops in the fucking room and shit. <laughs> but uh, it seemed like he was trying to kind of fight his demons. I, I feel like that scene in the train he was trying to fight his demons, but you know he wasn't strong enough. So I feel like that was an indicator like the internal struggles he has to deal with of trying to balance life and these other new responsibilities and his powers and stuff like that, which I think is cool. And um. Yeah, it just seemed like this is like what's to come for like the next movie because man like <laughs> so for someone like me I didn't really uh for the longest I didn't really watch the other movies at first because uh you know I'm not really the type of person that likes to watch stuff that's when it's overly hyped but when I actually sat down and actually watched the first and second movie I was actually like really astounded by like why people love it and why people you know have feel so resonated with the characters and hell it has a badass soundtrack like the soundtracks for the movies is like fucking fire so um uh, now i'm in that hype train where i'm like waiting for the next film and i'm like yo where's the third one coming out because the the how the second one ended i was like yo you can't just do that and expect me not to want more you know what i'm saying and it's like yo so uh i'm always rooting for my boy from uh for miles man because miles is a dope character man 
and I feel like I could relate a lot to him and shit like that just as a whole just this what we saying right now just trying to handle everything that's going on it just seems like it's not enough and uh, people start to doubt you people start to feel like oh you're not doing what you're supposed to when you're really trying but um you know you gotta you know not a lot of people be understanding like you know you've been in that situation to to really grasp like what it is to have so much on you and stuff to the point you feel like you just want to quit and just give up on everything and that's not always the way but you're not a human if you don't ever feel like you if you ever felt like you you wanted to quit you know and it's normal you know what i'm saying it just goes down to are you willing to really take that role to do that or are you willing to like you know go you know go along with the punches and just keep fighting you know and i know it can be hard but you know, that's why it's important to have good people around you to support you and push you and, you know what I'm saying, kind of bring you back to to reality and put you on the steer path because, you know, all influences ain't good influences. So, you know, it's always important to be careful who you be around and who you listen to and stuff because regardless or not, man, like, we, we do care about what others think about us regardless if we say we don't care or not. It just depends on the person who we're hearing it from. If it's someone that's close to us and they tell us something, we're going to take that more into account compared to a random person on the street that say, oh, you ain't shit or this and that and third. You're going to be like, I don't really care. But then depending on what they're saying, you might be like, damn, they might see something I don't see. That's why it's good to have friends and have really close individuals that care because if you realize... um. We tend to hang. We tend to be around people that have similar, uh, or have have traits that kind of lack what we have. You know, what I'm saying you might be a person that's really um, introverted, but then your friend is, you know, extrovert. Uh, ex, you know, what I'm saying extroverted or whatever, right? You know, they like to be out, outgoing and stuff like stuff like that. So it kind of balances out to the point where, like, hey, hey, it's not. You don't have to always be inside. Hey, come out sometimes. You know, what I'm saying. And, you know kind of see what's outside in life and see, you know what I'm saying just let's go here let's do this and that third and kind of get them out their shell because they're with someone that they trust so um just these these kind of things that kind of always play a part and um you know you see kind of uh, well you know miles kind of go through that and stuff like that with with his family his friends and you know even his his uh superhero life and shit like that so um yeah I, just, I think this is a cool short film so I'm going past you show I think I said a lot <laughs> <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, see, and here's the thing, because uh, you pretty much said everything, and I agree with everything you just said. Um, one thing, like, if you see the end of this this little short film, yeah, uh, he gets out. He talks to his father. Yeah, you know, and that's one thing that um, people try to say. Uh, they try to give. Um, Miles shit for they like oh well he's just like Spider Man clone but one thing that this that Miles have that Peter Parker uh, excuse me Peter Parker clone one thing Miles <laughs> has that Peter doesn't is a father to talk to yeah and I'm glad that that this story this little short film portrayed that that he can speak to his father about you know the issues or whatever <clears throat> you know because mm -hmm. he, he you know what I'm saying he can get that out. Uh, yeah, and that's why I really like Miles, you know what I'm saying? Like, he doesn't have to hold everything in. He doesn't have to. He has a dad. Maybe he can't tell him everything, but, you know, he, and, and, you know, you can kind of see that dynamic in the last movie. Mm -hmm. like, you know, he wants to tell his father, but he can't, you know. Right, because his pop, his pops was on the run looking for the motherfucker that, you know what I'm saying, that killed his uncle and shit because he thought Spider-Man did it. So it was like. Damn, if I tell him, because you see what happened when when Gwen told uh, her dad that she was um that she was Spider Man or she you know she was she was Spider Gwen or whatever, and how in her timeline her best friend was uh was Peter Parker and he was the one that was the lizard and all that stuff, and um when he uh when she told him he was gonna put that bitch to jail he was gonna really arrest her ass. And that's why she ended up like leaving and fucking going uh to the Spire Society and shit and then end up going into Miles' timeline and shit. Cause that's what I liked about that dynamic between even um because there were some things that uh like if Miles was to do that, you kinda see the aftermath of what what happened when Gwen did it, like her telling this and that and the third. Cause even when he came back to so called his timeline in the second movie, he was like, oh, I'm Spider-Man, this and that. They just laughed at him and shit. Come to later, find out he was in the wrong timeline and shit. 
Because it's not like he wants to be secretive about his shit. But you got to think. Once you, once a person knows what you do, now they're going to be people that's going to be in the crossfire when shit hits the ceiling. Because now you got to worry about them and shit. And in any situation, whenever someone's trying to get close, uh, to like destroy their enemy, they're going to always go to the close ones that they love. Because that's going to always draw them out. And with them not having like no self-awareness of who these people are, you know what I'm saying? They're going to, you know, they're going to always go that route and shit, which... It's in plain sight. It's fucked up, but it's really smart though. Cause like if you're trying to draw someone out. What's the best way to do? Go to some. Go to the surrounding people that knows this individual. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And on the part you talking about is father, which is yeah, I do agree. Cause um, the whole father son dynamic is always is always good to have and stuff, especially for like um, colored like for us colored people as far as like a father and son relationship. I don't think that's portrayed enough. As much as it used to be, like, back in the 90s with all, like, the shows, like, All in the Family, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, all those 90s sitcoms, when, like, it was always a dynamic family with the mother, the, the mother, the, the father, and the kids, you know, when stuff was going on, um, they always talk to their parents or whatever, stuff like that, like, kind of those life lessons that, like, even though it was a comedy, there was always life lessons in within the comedy. You know what I'm saying? Even with Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, with his Uncle Phil, and you know what I'm saying? His auntie, stuff like that. Like, we don't really see that depth that depth that we used to see back in the day with those shows and shit like that. So, um, you can kind of tell whoever who's on the writing team doing these characters and stuff that their inspiration kind of comes from those shows as well as their own. Because, um, <laughs> it's like... <laughs> And nowadays, when it comes to, like, these type of, like, uh, stories and stuff, it's always like, oh, the dad is angry at him and this and that. But, like, he has a reason to feel the way that he's feeling. It's not like he was, he wasn't intentionally mad at Miles. He was just more frustrated because he's like, what's wrong with my son? Why won't he talk to me? I just want to help him. But you, you see it from both ends because you see Miles because it's like, Miles, like, I want to tell you, but I don't want to get you hurt because I literally just seen a feature uh, in another timeline where you were fucking killed so what do you expect and you think you would think he will understand but if anything it's, it's gonna ha have him have make him ask more questions than anything <laughs> so it's just gonna be this whole like crazy conversation to have it is gonna be more questions than answers so his best bet to like not say nothing at all which i it is that's why I like I look at it from both sides because I'm just like I'm 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 for Miles I'm for his pops because his pops just he just want to be his he just want to be the best dad he can be for his son he know his son and, and, and we've seen it Miles is not a bad kid he just trying to do the best he can to help his family you know what I'm saying say the people he loves shit like that or whatever and kind of just you know be a normal kid despite having these powers and shit like that but you know like. <sighs> But this is this this short film, and it's crazy stuff like this. It has so much layers to it. And I love shit like this, like so much. I mean, I mean you, you think about like, I, like I think there's a bunch of symbolism going on in this this so short, you know, mm -hmm. so short film or whatever. Like the fact that you know the the, the monster looks just like Miles, you know. Mm -hmm. And then 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 the the, uh, the next one is like a spider. Right, it kind of looked like um, uh, it kind of looked for a second it, like he turned to kingpin for a second when he was mutating a little bit, cause pig, cause that. I don't, why did they make kingpin that built built so big like that? He, well, I'm probably a wing off you, like bro. He look like, <laughs> man, it, like he asked, he like uh, what's his name from GTA? Let me get a number seven, a number nine extra dip, big smoke built that nigga. <laughs> Kingpin. Kingpin, that was, nigga, that was King Burger right there. <laughs> yeah, Burger Kingpin. Burger Kingpin. <laughs> Let me get extra juice and burger, <laughs> dude. You want some ketchup? You want some ketchup with the fries? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, um, make, make extra large with extra dip on them. On the put extra dip on the uh goddamn ice cubes and shit. <laughs> Let me get some dip cubes. The fuck is a dip cubes? <laughs> <laughs> not the pickles not the bubble bass pickles man I'm fucking weak <laughs> you didn't have any more pickles inside the sandwich 
I swear to God, I had pickles in that bitch. I guess you didn't. <laughs> I love this part. They like, yeah, you want to talk about it? Yeah, let's go outside and talk about it, man. Walk outside, chilling in the New York moonlight and shit. But yeah, what you were saying, you said something about the symbolism. I'm just going to let you finish. Go ahead. Yeah, it's just, just that, you know, the first little um, paralysis monster, you know, is like, it's him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that can mean a lot of different things, you know. Uh, whether that's you know he, you know he's dealing with like um, like fighting himself. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like his worst enemy is himself and shit. Yeah, and that that's like that, that it can mean so many different things, and I like the element of it. Mm-hmm. Like. I, I, and he, I, I feel like that might be what it was though like him fighting himself his human self and then his spider-man self because why would only why would why would he just at first it was him and then he why would he mutate to a spider you know what i'm saying like <laughs> like it's like that's what i was that's what i was thinking too i'm like he's he's fighting not just himself but also the superhero self of him of himself too because he's like he's basically two people he's miles he and he's spider-man and it's like he's he has to balance those two identities and trying to um you know saying stay afloat with just his regular life in school and all these things and yeah it can be a lot you know and it doesn't matter if you know uh if you peter parker miles morales you know what I'm saying shogun b man killer you know what I'm saying we always i think the bigger picture which i, what I love about spider-man as a whole is that there's a spider-man in us you know we have to juggle these identities from home life friend life you know what i'm saying work life all these things you know and it can be strenuous on not just physically but mental if you're not there mentally you're not going to be there physically it's all together and it's very important and it's always good to have that support group to go talk to someone and you know what i'm saying pick up a phone call or send a text or go out and just be like hey i just don't want to i just want to be away from stuff and just kind of just hang out and just be around good company you know good a good support group is always important you know what i'm saying um you're gonna hell you're gonna always have problems with that support group but that's just normal you know what i'm saying but having that really good support group rather if it's one or many can always take you a long way you know what i'm saying and always being upfront and honest with you and stuff like that and the truth can hurt it can definitely hurt but um as long as you know what I'm saying? You're honest and they're honest with you, man. That relationship can go a long way. Even if you guys have fallen out. So, you know, that's going to happen. But you're going to always come back together and be like, yo, I'm sorry I said this and that. I was frustrated. You know, hear each other out and just kind of go forward. You know what I'm saying? Because every relationship is going to always be tested. You know what I'm saying? God will never put too much on you that you can't handle. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be willing to go through those trials and tribulations to be stronger so when the uh event occurs again you know how to maneuver it and how to uh, overcome it way better than when you first go when you first go through it so um you know and i feel like that's i feel like that's pretty much like even just the movies him just going through the motions and him trying to facilitate those feelings and how to be a better person with just himself and with his family his friends his superhero life and all that stuff like this is like we're looking at the eyes of us when we were kids and how life was for us you know what i'm saying only difference is he has powers you know what i'm saying because a lot of stuff that happens in here relates to us a lot as people and then you have certain situations that we can relate a lot more with just us as color folks because there are some things that and and i hate to be that person to bring in color but there are just some things that we go through than than other things and so when we see these things like that's put on media like this in a way to kind of show like yo like you know what i'm saying like yeah i've been there before i know what that feels like you know what i'm saying so it's it's, it's not just about just the race but also like like <laughs> everybody goes through it but you know some more than others you know depending on you know the you know the color of your skin it's, it can be a little bit more worse on uh, on certain motherfuckers than just the, us regular fuck but you know I, overall there is enough you know uh information or just stuff presented to us that relates to all of us you know it's just it's, some things just seem to have more than others 
than it's supposed to and it's unfortunate that you know it may be uncomfortable to say but you know some we have to touch these topics that at hand you know what i'm saying and um i'm pretty sure as for him him being I, what, what's his race i think he's like black and mexican because i think his mom was like mexican i think yeah yeah so you, you know already off rip like <laughs> He already has that barrier on him just as he as what he looks and stuff like that because because uh, <coughs> i'm pretty sure like i'm pretty sure at the i think most didn't most people figure out who uh fire man was like he was like peter park or whatever like this and that that he was white or whatever you know what i'm saying and it's unfortunate because it's like he was only known for i think uh who uh i'm trying to remember because it was in the game or something i can't even think about it this is the point I was trying to make. Oh well, but whatever. <laughs> this shit is just—it's so. It, see, stuff like this makes you think. <laughs> it's so much listening. You know, definitely have a lot of conversations out of it. <clears throat> I don't know. I yeah, I can go on and on with this type of shit because I I like shit like this. I, this shit makes you think and stuff. It makes you brainstorm and just think about so much stuff and just. And it's just simple ones just seeing this shit like just with the spider and all that like there's so much that you can just grasp from it you know what I'm saying that's why I say a picture paints a thousand words man you know what I'm saying like this shit has so much that you could think about because I feel him on all this like I man for real you yeah, know he, you could probably like you could probably like pause each frame and it's probably like something that we you know don't see here that's probably like that has a meaning to it you know yeah like and, each, each frame probably has a meaning to it. Yeah, like real shit. Hell yeah. Like I remember when uh he come in the mirror, when he walked past the mirror, you see like a dark silhouette on the mirror and yeah, shit. I saw that too. I caught that. I was like, what the fuck? And it's like it's been replaying and shit. I'm like, like what the fuck? There's a dark silhouette. Then the TV, the thing, the shadow getting all black with the yellow ass and shit. Yeah. I'm like, yo, they know what they doing, man. That's what I said. That's some creative ass shit. They was cooking. And I like what they was cooking. That's why I cannot wait. Um, I cannot wait uh, for uh, the new movie to come out, man. They they gotta hurry up with that, man, for sure. So, um, yeah, man, that's pretty much our thoughts. Uh, well, that's my thoughts. I don't know if uh, Shaw gonna have anything else he want to end, say, but yeah, I, I pretty much said what I had to say. You got anything else you want to uh, say before we end it off? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I pretty much like this. One. I, I really like this short. Mm -hmm. I actually hope they actually do more of these, to be honest. Mm. Um, and it don't, it don't, they don't even have to tie into each other. They could just be like their own little entities or whatever they want it to be. Because, you know, surrounding Miles Morales, whether he's at school or they want to be just at the fucking amusement park or whatever, you know, it doesn't Yeah. I, ho I hope to see more of these, you know. I don't, it, 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 it didn't really have to be, I was going to be anybody. I was going to say that. I was like, they could do that with Gwen. That would be really cool to see with Gwen. That would be I would really that would be really cool to see with uh see like a short film with Gwen and stuff because she has some really like man because even a second one I think she had she I think she was majority like her her just her story her arc was like the majority of the like first half of the movie and shit and stuff and I was like wow like I, I felt for her I was like yo that's yeah yeah this yeah if they, if they do that that would be cool too just to see the other characters and little short films and how they handle them trying to balance out their life being you know a superhero and just being normal stuff like that that would be really cool to see it's so because they can only they only do it in six without six minutes long mm -hmm. it doesn't, yeah it's, it doesn't even have to be a long and it's, and it's really good too uh, mm -hmm. yeah like, I'm, I'm i'm also looking forward to the new movie as well i've actually seen all of them like the last two of them inside theaters so I'll, you know, of course, I'm gonna watch the next one in theaters again. I hope to, yeah, I hope to watch the the new one in theaters too, because unfortunately, I had to, I had to watch them. Uh, I watched them over, I watched them through an app and stuff. So, um, you know what I'm saying? But I enjoyed it. It was good quality. Though. I was like, yo, this is, this shit fire. <laughs> I had to rewatch them again. Like I rewatched them like twice, the first one and the second one and shit. That's just how good it was, and then I, then I listened to the soundtrack. I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I see why people love the soundtrack. I was like, "Okay." Then I heard that I think Metro Boomin was the one that was the producers on the on the yeah. for the yeah. I was like, "Okay, yeah." I was like, "Yeah, they 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 was cooking, they was cooking." So 
yeah, I'm definitely um, I'm excited for the third movie, man. I just man, they can do these, and this is great. This is great promotion too for the movie to get people hyped up for it too. So yeah, they should definitely keep making these too. So I'm all for it. But yeah, yeah, I hope y'all guys enjoyed this reaction. I open dialogue about the uh, short film. Like I said, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. We on the road to 2K Killer Killer Gang. Check out my boy Shogun's channel. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. We're going to be working on that collab real soon as far as with the Shogun Chronicles. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We're going to be being some samurais out this motherfucker. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. Killer out.